welcome back everyone so having the slow internet speed with the high ping and slow downloading speed is a very common problem for almost all the pc laptop user but in this video i will be covering all the important tweaks that you can apply and i'm very sure if you watch the entire video one of the solution will surely work for you and give you the instant result now before starting guys i would recommend you that go ahead and create a restore point to be safe side in case if the setting doesn't work then you can quickly revert it back so for that click on your windows search type restore and from the suggestion you have to click on create a restore point and here you have to click on create in case if the option is not being highlighted then you have to click on configure turn on the system protection click on apply now if you click on create you can give a restore point name here so i will give like internet optimization and then finally you will have to click on create now it will take about a minute or a few seconds only and a restore point will be quickly created now once created in case after applying all the optimization it doesn't work then again you can come back to the same page and instead of create you can click on system restore and your system restore point will be displayed here that you created now you can select it click on next click on finish and after that the system will be restoring to that particular stage when you started the optimization okay so now we can start with the optimization and the very first thing guys that i would recommend you that if you are still connected with the wi-fi then better switch to the lan or ethernet connection because it will give you the instant difference in speed and the lower ping now let me show you guys right now you can see i am connected on a wi-fi connection and i have disabled the ethernet connection that is my lan connection and i will connect to the wi-fi now so once it will be connected now i will do a quick test on speedtest.net and now you can see the result here the ping that i'm getting is around 13 and you can see the latency it's fluctuating a lot it's around 3 to 400 uh, going up to 500 even you can see the upload latency so it's not good at all okay so once it will be done now you have to keep this result in your mind even i will show you the comparison okay so this is the test result that we got through the wi-fi connection now now let's disable the wi-fi connection and enable the ethernet that is my lan connection and now if i do a quick test so you can see here that the ping that i was getting around 13 in the wi-fi now it has been reduced to 9 and the latency that i was getting around 315 400 now it's below 10 that is around 6 or 7 even the same with the upload latency and you can see the huge difference guys i have not done any optimization yet but it's still switching from the wi-fi to lan made a lot of difference okay so this is the first thing that you need to apply now additionally one more thing that you can do you can connect to your internet service provider make a complaint that you're not getting the proper speed and getting the high ping all right because if you do all the optimization but the problem is with the uh, cable or with the isp then you will not be able to do anything okay so make sure that you also connect to them make a complaint and let them check if there is any kind of problem so once you have applied these two steps now next you also need to make sure that you install the latest driver for your network adapter now if your network adapter driver is outdated and buggy then it can lead to several issues like having the high ping or the connecting problem as well so what you can do you can right click on the windows icon click on device manager look for the network adapter double click on it now here it will display all kind of your wi-fi the lan connection all kind of adapter so you have to look for the one for the wi-fi if you want to continue with the wi-fi and if you are using the ethernet connection then you have to look for it like on my end it's intel uh, 82574l gigabyte network so now what you can do here first you can make a right click on the adapter click on update driver click search automatically for driver and if the update are available it will automatically try to update it if you are connected with the internet connection you can do the same with the other one click update automatically now if it says the drivers are already been installed then you can click on close and bring up any of your favorite browser and here you can type the name of your adapter like i'm using intel 82579v so i will type it then i will type driver download for windows 11 
I'm using Windows 11, but if you're using 10, then you can replace with Windows 10. And then you have to click on the first link. Now it will display all kind of adapter here. So click on view detail. And from here you can download the driver. So it will take some time. And once it get downloaded, you will have to extract the file and install the latest driver of the Intel or TP-Link or the Realtek, whichever you're using. All right, so you have to go with the manual method and make sure that you update both for the Wi-Fi and for the LAN connection as well. And now next, you also need to add a better DNS server address. So basically, DNS is used to translate the domain name into the IP address that computer can understand. While DNS itself does not directly affect the torrenting speed or the internet speed, but using a fast and a reliable DNS service could improve the overall experience of your internet connection. So what you can do? Click on your Windows search, type ncpa.cpl, and hit the enter key. Now the simple command will bring up all the internet connection adapter. Now here you have to look for the one through which you are being connected. Make a right click on it and click on properties. In the properties here, first you need to uncheck this option that says internet protocol version 6. If you are not really using the TCP IP version 6, uncheck it. Then you have to look for Internet Protocol version 4. Select it. Click on Properties. And here at the bottom, you will find your the following DNS server address. So you need to select the second option. And in the market, there are tons of DNS server available like Google or the Cloudflare. But it totally depends on your area and your location. And it can vary according to it. So what you have to do, you need to find out that which DNS server is giving you the best speed and the best ping for that click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and in the black window you have to type ping space and now we can start with the google so for the google ip address it's 8.8.8.8 and hit the enter key now it will be pinging this dns server address and then it will show you the minimum ping, the maximum ping, and the average ping. So what you have to look here will be the average ping. So from Google, I am getting 17 ms. Now let's also connect to Cloudflare, for which I have to type ping space 1.1.1.1. And hit the enter key again. And once it's been done, so now here you can see the minimum I am getting 11, maximum 12, and the average is 11 ms. So I'm getting the better ping as compared to Google. So I will go with the Cloudflare. But if you get the better ping from the Google, then you have to go with the Google. So I will continue with the Cloudflare. And for Cloudflare, the preferred DNS will be 1.1.1.1, 1 .1 .1 .1, then 100 and 1. Click on OK and then click on Close. All right. Now we also need to make some changes with the adapter here. So again, right click on the adapter. Click on properties. Then you have to click on configure here. And this will bring up another box. Now here from the top menu option, first you have to click on power management. Uncheck this option, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Uncheck it. Then from the top menu option only, you have to click on advanced. Now here in the property section, you will find different kind of properties. Okay, so as of now, I'm doing for the Ethernet, that is for the LAN connection. So on my end, at the very top, I find adaptive inter frame spacing, so I will disable it. But if you find any other option like advanced AAA, then also you need to disable it. Or ARP offload, then you also need to disable it. Flow control, you have to disable it. Gigabyte master will be auto detect. IP version 4 checksum offload will be disabled. Jumbo packet will be disabled. Large send offload version 2, IP version 4 and 6 both will be disabled. Now if you also get any option like the name energy efficient Ethernet and the green Ethernet, then you will have to go ahead and disable both of them. Then you have the maximum number of RSS queues and it will depend on the value section. Uh, whatever you get the maximum like you probably will find the 4 queues. So you will have to select the 4 queues. If you only find the 2 then you can keep this selected to 2 queues. Next, we have the receive buffer and it probably will be selected to 256. You have to make it to 512. Speed and duplex, you have to select to auto negotiation. 
Now TCP checksum offload IP version 4 will be selected to RX and TX enabled. Do the same with the IP version 6. If you are not using the IP version 6, you can either also keep it to disable. Transmit buffer, uh, you can make it to 128. UDP checksum offload, you have to keep it to disable. And UDP checksum offload will be selected to disable. Okay, so that's it. Once you are done, now you will have to click on OK. Now next, we also need to disable the background application. On Windows 10, you can easily do that from the settings, going in the privacy and you will find an option of disable the background app. Uh, but on Windows 11, you need to do either manually by going to uh, the application, like you can go to the settings, then click on apps, click on installed apps and whichever application you don't want to use, you can click on the three dot, click on advanced option and here in the background app permission, you can skip it to never. But this will take a long time in order to do this. So what you can do, you can click on the Windows search, type GP edit, click edit group policy. And here you have to look for administrative template under the computer configuration. Then you have to look for Windows component on the right hand side. And here you have to look for app privacy. Double click on it. And here at the bottom you will find let Windows apps run in the background. Make a double click on it. Select to enabled. And default for all app, you have to choose it to force deny. Click on apply. Click on OK. And now you can close it. So the background application on Windows 11 will now be disabled. Do the same with the task manager as well. So right click on Windows icon. Go to task manager. On the left hand side, click on startup apps. And here you have to disable all the unwanted application that has been selected to enable. And basically it is start along with your computer, run in the background and occupy a lot of internet resources. So like Microsoft Edge, whenever I need it, I can bring it up. So right click on it, choose disable, OneDrive disable, full link disable, any third party application like Discord, Skype, Steam or any other, then you will have to disable them because these are the third party application that you can manually bring it up whenever you need it. All right, now we are only remaining with the final step. So click on your Windows search, type CMD, click run as admin, click on yes. And here we have to run few command and all these command you will be getting in the description. The first command will be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit the enter key. Next ipconfig space forward slash register DNS. Then type ipconfig space forward slash release next ip config space forward slash renew and the last command will be nitsh space winsock reset all right so once all the commands are completed now it says you must restart the computer so click on close go ahead and restart the computer and the next time when you will uh, do any kind of gaming or do any kind of downloading or normal browsing as well then you will find that the speed of your internet has been boosted and the ping that you will getting very high that has been reduced along with the latency so that's all guys for today and hopefully after applying all this solution you will surely find the difference please let me know in the comment section that what kind of difference you found but still if you have any issues then you can also let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye